We have an interesting exponential problem on the board. We have x cubed equals e to the x. We want to try to solve this using the Lambert W function. We'll have this useful formula over here on the right side. Lambert W x e to the x equals x. So that's going to be our major tool to simplify this. If you don't understand this part, you can check out. I have a video. I have an introduction video and a playlist on the Lambert W function. So let's get started. To get this in the right format, we really want to get this. Uh, we want to get our x cubed on the right side. So for the first step, let's divide both sides by an x cubed, and we're going to have 1 on the left side, and then we'll have x to the minus 3, e to the x on the right. And we have our x e to the x, but we want to, we need to get rid of this exponent. So what I can do is let's raise both sides to the minus 1 third power to get rid of that. And the convenient thing there is, well, on the right side, 1 to the minus 1 third is just going to be 1. Then we'll separate out the right side. We'll write our x to the minus third, the 1 third, and then we'll have our e to the x. See if I can draw e to the x to the minus 1 third. Then we'll just multiply these exponents inside if we can. Multiply, multiply. So we're going to have 1 equals x to the... Oh, I'm sorry, that's a negative one third there. So we're going to have this, this term just going to be x when we multiply minus one third times minus three is just one. And then we're going to have e to the minus one third x multiplying that inside. Then you'll notice we're getting really close. We need our, we need our coefficient value and exponent value to be the same. And all we need to do is we're, we just need to multiply minus one third on both sides. And that's going to do what we need to get it in the right form. So now that we have it in the form we would like, we can now apply our Lambert W function. So we'll take Lambert W on the left side, and we'll have Lambert W one third, and Lambert W on the right. And then this is actually gonna just give us here, this whole thing is just gonna be, using our formula, it's gonna just be minus, minus one third X. And then here on the left side, Lambert W minus one third. And we can just, now all we need to do is multiply both sides by a minus three so we can isolate our x. And so now we've solved for our x, we're just gonna have x equals minus three, Lambert W minus one over three. So now the question is, what is this thing? Can we get a decimal answer for that? Is that a real solution? And are there other real solutions? So what we can do is, let's take a look at our graph of the Lambert W function real quick. So looking at our graph of the Lambert W function, we actually have an interesting situation here because if we were in the positive, we would just have one solution on the Lambert W, but we'll zoom in. Our input, you remember, was minus one third, minus, which is zero point, minus zero point three three. So we clearly have this solution here, but there's also another solution down here. So we actually have two values for the Lambert W function. So like one is gonna be around minus zero point six one nine one, and this is going to be on the other branch, just be the negative one branch we'll have minus 1.5121. So that's it. We end up with our two real solutions for this exponential equation. Got this problem from my quiz, Lambert W Challenge. I'll provide a link in the description. Hope you check that out. Thanks for watching.